we got starting here and I just made the video or I just made this video and it was 14 minutes long and then I thought about it and I'm like nobody's gonna want to watch a 14 minute video on how to set up MRL um, so I'm redoing it this will probably be eight minutes hopefully maybe seven minutes not long at all I'm gonna try to make it really short and kind of get through it fast because nobody wants to sit here for 14 or 18 minutes watching a video on how to do a simple plugin anyway so I'm going to show you how you set up MRLs, which is Miner Set Lite. It's good for any prison server or if you want any like donator mines. Uh, all the permissions are on the command page, so if you go here. I'll leave a link in the description to the bucket dev page, and you can see all the permissions. So here are the permissions for everything. So, I mean, they don't really need a permission. This is just for if you're op. I mean, you shouldn't need to set these permissions for anybody. Just throwing it out there. But I'm going to get through this as fast as I can. Now, what you want to do is if you don't know how to install a plugin, is you download it right here, and you're going to want to make sure you put it inside your plugins folder. So right here, this is the server I'm going to be working on or working from. You go inside your plugins folder, and you want to drag, uh, drag and drop it right in here. Also, the latest the build on the bucket dev works with Spigot 1.8, and I'm also going to be doing a video on Miner Set Lite Plus. Hopefully in a few days, because I think uh, the next video I'm going to do is a world edit series, or not world edit series, like, uh, there, there'll be two world edit videos, and I think it's going to be, like, intermediate and advanced world edit, um, and I'm going to go through some basic commands on how to use it. So hopefully that will get here, <laughs> uh, but Miner Set Lite Plus would probably be after that, but once you drag it in there, you're going to want to start your server, I'm not going to do it because I already did it, but you're going to want to start your server, have it load, uh, type plugins, make sure everything's all green, there's no red. And then you're gonna want to save all and stop the server. And then when you go back into your plugins folder, you're gonna go. Uh, you're gonna have a folder called Mine Reset Lite, and you're gonna open that up. And you'll see two files. You'll see Mines folder and a config.yml. Now, if you open the the config, I don't know what I'm. Oh God. If you open the config.yml, you'll see this. Uh, this value and this value will both be false, and this one will be true. So the first one is broadcast in world only. This means if you want to have your mind broadcast in the world that it's in. So if your mind's in world, say you're, say you're in a creative world and you have a mind for some reason in the world creative and you only want to broadcast that it's resetting in the creative world, you'd set that to true. And the same thing for if you had a mind in survival world, you'd only want the survival minds broadcasting to the survival ser or the survival world and you'd only want like say creative minds broadcasting to the creative uh, world part of the server. So you can set that to true if you want or leave it at false. By default, it is false. Uh, broadcast nearby only. I would recommend setting this to true if you have more than 10 mines because otherwise your server is going to get spammed with mine messages that they're resetting. Um, so pretty much what that would do is that will broadcast to nearby mines only. So pretty much you have to be in the mine or within like 20 blocks of the mine to get the warning that it's going to reset. So I would say that's true, personally. So I did. Now, check for updates. We'll just check for the latest updates from this, uh, uh, from the Bucket Dev. Now, they haven't really updated it in too long. And uh, the, uh, like, Bleeding Edge build or, like, the beta elf. I don't know. I don't know what the correct term is for it. But that's kind of dead. Uh, it even says on the Bucket page. So you can leave it at true. Um, I usually set the false, but I'm going to leave it true. Also, the local is the language, so... EN is English, uh, DA is Danish, ES is Spanish, etc. Your language can go right there. And you just want to replace the EN with whatever language you want. So the next thing I'm going to show you how to do is uh, set up custom phrases or custom like reset messages. So all you're going to have to do is you're going to go into your Mine Reset Lite folder and you're going to make a file called phrases.properties. Now once you make that file, you're going to go to this page. I'll have a link in the description. And you're going to want to copy this right here. So right there, you're going to copy that. I'll just actually drag this over here for you guys. Oops, there we go. And you're going to want to paste it in that file. In this file, once you do that, then this is where you can edit it. Now, I already have mine set up, so I'm not going to go through it. But they support color codes and everything. And more information like is down here if you want. So, uh, And it's the color codes. And let's see... The percent number percent is parts replaced by text. There's percent signs and numeral get replaced with something meaningful. Zero codes for the mini mine name and one codes for the player. So the percent zero percent is for the mine name. Percent one percent code is for the player who reset the mine. And then that just shows you the rest. So 
pretty much you just use this. I mean, you have to use it. Just use it. Just kind of reset it. I mean, if you want to, if you're gonna really get that technical, you can read it right here, and I'll explain it more than I can explain it in a few seconds. So anyway, once you do that, you're good. You're all set. Uh, just save it. Make sure there's no errors, and then you're gonna want to start your server. One thing I just forgot to mention, as I just thought of it, is you're gonna need a uh, world edit for this. Um, if you want to make it easier, otherwise you're gonna be able to do a like you're gonna be able to set two uh, points, but it's just it's easier with the world edit. So I just did not do that. I did not start my server, and I just tried to join it. So let's go to prisons one point because that's my server I'm working on, and we'll start dot bet. Dun, dun, dun. So we'll go back to title screen and we will join the server. Okay, so now I'm on the server. Now I already have my three blocks picked out that I'm going to have this mine set as. And now let me make the mine. So we're going to go here, to here, to here. And say this is going to be how big our mine is. Uh, I'm just clearing out a spot right now. So don't ignore this. Or ignore this, sorry. Okay, so this is where my mine is going to be. Now I gotta replace this. Uh, the next video I have on this channel will probably be a beginner's world edit tutorial. Uh, the reason beginner is because I'm gonna have uh, three videos I think beginner, intermediate, and advanced. And each video will be around 10 minutes probably, and it will just go through a bunch of the commands for world edit itself. And then hopefully I can get that out pretty fast. Um, and hopefully it's good. I, ho I hope you guys didn't like it. But the next thing you're going to do is you're going to select the two corners of the uh, mine. So if you didn't know, that's one corner I selected. And this is the second corner. So that's where the mine will be. And the next command you're going to want to do is slash MRL space create space the mine name. So I'm going to name it test mine. So this is my test mine. If you had a prison server and your rank was A, you can name the mine A. Uh, the only thing is you're going to probably have to name them all the mines like A mine or first mine, second mine, etc. Because if you type MRL create A, it will say this name is not uh, like creative enough. You, It's not like you, unique enough. Uh, it says a message pretty similar to that. But once you have that set, you do MRL my name or MRL create my name. And then once you do that, you can set what's in the mine with MRL set the block so we're gonna do 21 for lapis ore and we're gonna do 25 percent now if I hit enter okay sorry <laughs> I forgot the mine name so you're gonna do MRL set the mine name so mine is test mine space the ID of the block and then the percentage so 25 percent so there we go so now it says test mine is now 25 percent lapis ore uh, mine is now 75 percent empty so now if I go get my other ID which is 56 diamond ore so I'm gonna do slash MRL set uh, test mine 56 for diamond and then let's do 50% diamond because they're gonna be rich I don't know so I set that so now it says test mine is now 50% diamond ore and it says mine is now 25% empty so now if I do slash MRL set uh, test mine 14 for gold ore and then I do 25% it will set it as gold ore. So now my whole mine is filled up because it says 0% is 0% empty. So that means it's full. So the next thing I can do are set some flags. So if I do slash MRL uh, flag my name. So uh, test mine I named it. And then I do the flag which I'm going to show you. Let's see which one should I do. Okay. Our reset delay is the time in minutes uh, the mine resets. So I'm going to set mine to 10 minutes. So if I do MRL flag test mine and reset delay 10, that's gonna be that's gonna reset the mine every 10 minutes. So if I hit enter, it's gonna reset the mine every 10 minutes. So now if I do MRL flag reset warning and I put this to a number, it's gonna this is gonna be the amount of minutes left that it's gonna display a warning. So I'm gonna say one minute it's gonna display the warning. So it's gonna be uh, display one minute before the mine resets. Uh, I'm gonna go through a few more flags so I can do flag uh, test mine and I can do surface and then if I do if I do MRL flag test mine surface and then a block here so uh, let's just say grass for some reason I'll make it grass this will make the surface block of the mine grass itself so maybe you want to hide a mine or something there goes my phone 
Hopefully somebody will get that. Let's see who it is. I have no clue who that is. But anyway, that will that will set the surface layer. And then the last one I'm gonna show you is slash MRL uh, flag test mine silent. And if you put this to true and hit enter, it's gonna make the mine reset silently. So it's not gonna display any message, message but I'm gonna make that false. So you can see the message. And then if we do, what else? Slash MRL info and then the mine name will show you information regarding the mine. So you can see all that. Now we're almost done. If you do slash MRL list, you can see all the mines. And then finally, you can do slash MRL reset and then the mine name. So test mine. And that will reset the mine. So now if I go here, I dig around. There's my surface layer of grass that I set. It's right here. And then underneath it, you can see that these are all the blocks I had set. Now, uh, one thing to keep in mind is if I do the MRL reset again, it's going to reset the mine again. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is you're going to need some sort of world guard. Uh, you're going to need world guard as well if you want this to be protected. Most people know that, but they might not. So I just want to warn you. Um, what I would personally do is all my mines are located in one world. So I would just set the global world. I would set all the flags that so they can't build and no PvP for the whole world itself. And then for each mine, I would go in there and make a parent, make uh, make a certain, make a spe make a. Ugh, sorry, I'm trying to explain this. I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. So I would make you want to make a region per each mine. So so this would be like one region. So one mine here, and I would name it like test mine for say. And then you'd want to make that region a parent of the uh, global, so the global world. Um, pretty sure you can do that. Uh, but that's what you'd want to do. And I'll have a video, hopefully, maybe. I'm not sure about doing the video, actually. That might be a few weeks down the road. But I might have a video eventually explaining how to do that. But anyway, guys, I think that's it. I think I covered everything. Let me just go back uh, to the website. Let me double check and make sure all the commands... Uh, oh, I did forget one. So the last one, which is, I mean, if you want to get rid of a mine, <laughs> you do slash MRL erase and then the mine name. So test mine. And now we'll erase the mine. Now it does not delete the blocks in the mine itself. You have to do that manually. So I'm just going to set this to grass and then slash stack time down. So anyway, guys, hopefully that covers everything. Uh, after my world edit, uh, video tutorial I will be doing a um, minor set light plus tutorial so yeah that should be good so anyway guys thank you for watching I really appreciate it also subscribe if you like plugins I don't know um, gotta say it but anyway guys thank you and I'll see you later and <laughs> this video is two minutes short than the other video so I'm sorry but uh, anyway guys see ya